All right, I think we're ready for another one, aren't we? The more you play, the more I wonder. Wonder what? If you can beat me? Because this time, I'm playing for whatever your next item, is, your next symbol is. Jack of scales, mana drain, cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. And last man standing in every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Oh. Challenges, two times Deadman's Gorge and two times supplies. All right. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Right, which Quiet, are... Patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. And you're just like me, lover lover of dragons. <laughs> Cause the king of king of scales is definitely a big fucking dragon. Let's add life's limb. And oh my gosh, so many things. Ring of enlightenment. Let's get rid of what is that? The ring of poverty. I'm not going to really use that, I don't think. That's where you sell... When you sell it... Yeah, you gain one health for every five gold. Or you sell it and you lose all your gold because of it, and you gain one health for every five that you lose. Could be good, but I don't... I haven't run into anything where I need more than a hundred health, so I don't really see the need of that. So... Damocles, I don't really need. I'll take the helm, though. Angel's wings, I don't need. And let's add that huge hammer in. There we go. Alright. Oh my god, so many things. We don't need the local peasant. We don't need the crucible. We don't need a wise fury. Don't need a bandit attack. Don't need the battle of Brooktop. Don't need the devil's choice. Don't need the noble traitor. Don't need the loan. Hey, we finally done the maiden. Don't need the twisted canyon. We'll see if we add any of those back in. Oh man, the altar, heroes remains, the lovers, stranger in the shadows, marketplace, tavern wager, charity three, old graveyard. Let's keep going with Greensboro Forest. And we will also add back in, Asher yeah, Meister Lionel and Twisted Canyon. And Devil's Choice? Should we do the Devil's Choice? Oh, yeah, I think we should do the Devil's Choice. It's not too difficult. I don't want to get started on these other four until after I've used up this one. Whichever one it is. Yeah, this one. So... We're just gonna leave it at that. Only one DLC set of quests per deck. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in dance. And we my scepter is at stake. The scepter! I do not intend to lose it. I was trying to figure out what that was before. I wasn't sure if it was a candlestick, or a scepter, or a stick. Wand or a rod. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. Of course. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Alright then. Then there will be no weapon that I don't use against you. I will pull out all the stops against you. Heroes remains. Let's start so off with a new one. This is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Very Their nice. Memory ball. is celebrated. But they are lost. <clears throat> right. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a loved, well-loved figure. You're approached by the cleric. 
This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to the hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, Traveler? Sure. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would be... Would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Viking blade! Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Press left bumper to trigger rage. Yes, I will equip it. As pleases you. And... Pain! A shield bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increased as you go up combo tiers. Awesome. Yes. And hurry! It's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. No, of course not. Heavy burden. After five steps, ha. player loses 15 max. Let us max. see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Right. But still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Just show me the way to the town and I'll go and deliver them. Or don't. That works too. Oh, here it is. Heroes return. Whew. Okay, good. I'll go this way. No. Turn back. Yes. Return. I wanted to use those items before I had to leave, but I'll return the hero's sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have his shield? Return the hero's shield. Surely you have done the Almighty's work in returning this shield. Thank you, blessed are we who protected can fell those who trespass against us. Draw two blessing cards, and his card's token is now mine. Self-righteous. I made that a little too powerful. On any, I will have to rebalance that next time. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. Awesome. An arcane knowledge. We already know that Very one. Very nice indeed. I know, right? You've done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare you for you a sacred something of something something. Ember Town Hero! Don't take my shit this time, buddy! You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen in combat recently. Ask him his troubles. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked my home village of Embertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, you will find those jackals and make them pay. Sure thing. Cool. Sets me on my path. Embertown hero. Let's find out what type of character you really are. You've caught up with the Emmertown village raiders who call out, Stay your hand, adventurer, and we will share the spoils with you. Refuse to deal with this leaving scum. You tell them to ask their gods for more mercy than you are about to show them. The dealer does you one monster card. Two of dust, of course. Bandit bastards. <laughs> Make it too easy for me at this point. He carefully turned out the thieves' pockets. The dealer draws you three game cards. Five maximum health. I pulled out a heart, apparently. Three food game card. And 25 gold. Afterwards, you return to tell the hero of Ember Town of your success. He gestures for you to come closer. In silence, he hands you a jeweled ring, then dies. You put the ring away to identify later and bury the fallen champion. This card's token is now yours. Yes. And now to the ladder down. <clears throat> Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Alright, I'll take the ladder down. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. It's a pleasure to a play. Ship at it's dock awesome. is worth nothing until it sails. Sure. 
Ratman hunting! Damn it. Some belong to a Ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. Four! Alright. I can deal with four rats. Of course. This way? Traveling mer mage! Mage merchant. Approach the shop. Of course, of course. And what do we got? Buy items. Hernies, antlers, lizardmen take double damage. Got two and pick one. Hags wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. Alchemical silver. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. Holy crap. I'll get the antlers because of the fact that we're dealing with lizard men today. Let the lizard men beware. Exactly. You said you're pulling out the stops and bringing out the lizard men. I'm bringing out the Hernie's antlers to deal with those lizard men. So there. I don't have anything extra, right? That I could have sold. Right. Okay. Forest Roaming escape. ever forward, hunting for the truth. Not quite yet. Not yet. Gotta turn back. See what this is. Tra Tavern wager. Taverns, caves, dungeons, and the roads between them. Over and over, again and again. You find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges you to an arm wrestle. Wager your helmet against his gold. Great. My new helmet. This one. Fuck. You lose! Many thanks for the magical helm, friend! You lose your headgear. Motherfucker. I just paid for that! An expedition. <clears throat> Press on. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Uh huh. Come up with some new dialogue, man. Come on, rat bastards! I gotta go after those ranged units first! Come here! Come here! Got him! Got him again! That's what you get for taking my helmet! I mean, I know you didn't take my helmet particularly, but damn it! I'm still mad about that. And I don't get anything, of course. No, that's not where I wanted to go, damn it! Charity three. Pity the losers or scorn them. Um. Give food. Uh, five food. Two success, two failures. Got it. A choice. Select your desire. Yes. One gain card. One blessing. I'm sure you are grateful. Treasure picker. It is yours. You can take it. 
Thank you. I will. No, stop. Stop trying to pick the way for me, damn it. I will pick the way. Traveling jeweler. Great. Approach shop. So that's why I did it. I did it all by strategy. I knew that was the shop because now I can get some food that I don't have to give to the damn priest. Buy food. What could I have bought? Healer's ring. Spirit walk. During combat, press right bumper to become eth ethereal. Avoiding all damage until your next attack. Ring of Enlightenment. If the player sells this ring, they receive 50 gold for each blessing they possess, and all blessings are lost. Feathered Ice. During combat, press right bumper to create a blast of freezing ice centered on the adventurer. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't spend my money. That I spent my money wisely on the food. Because those were all pretty crap. No offense. Love him. But I wouldn't buy any of those. <clears throat> all right. Go this way. Cave mouth. But of course, we're not leaving there. We have to go. I'm risking it. Ratman. We're gonna die. I bet you'll thrill. Jack Plagues. Jack not really. Motherfuckers. Ow. It's like the third time I fought, Jack. Yeah. No. Bad. Bad, Jack. Fuck off, Jack. Take that, Jack. And that. And that. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Bad Jack! Fuck off! Just die already! Bastard! We are out of food. Here comes the point where we starve to death. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. Yep. Now every single fight is going to be more and more pain. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to <laughs> their own oh, I found the hitch a ride already. Great. I could leave right Mine now. Different. My powers are genuine. You're still talking. Devil's choice. Great. I'll go with the fuck for dust. Let you live with your choice. As long as none of more range units, that's all I care about. Come on. Swing that sword. Axe. Whatever. Just kill them all! <clears throat> Give me food gain card, food gain card, food gain card! That's all I need. One gain card. Food? Can't help. That kinda helps, kinda. Not really, though. Come on. Devil's Wager! Trust a devil or don't? I wouldn't. A devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Greetings, mortal. If you can defeat my minions without taking a scratch, I will reward you with gold and magical trinkets. How about some fucking food? Excellent, the devil cries with glee. It points at you with a crooked finger, saying, let's see you prove it. You said you could do it without a scratch, but I'll be generous and leave you a little more than that. Ha! Oh, you're fucking great. Leave me with no health at all. Come on! No! Okay, did it! Without a scratch! Jesus! I 
hate those red attacks that you can't dot or you can't counter. I saw that coming. I was like, no! The card of the token is now mine! Hmm, you're not dead. This is unexpected. The devil waves his hand, partially healing you. Thank you! Oh, if it, it then disappears, leaving behind some loot. The dealer draws me four game cards that are hopefully all food. Three equipment, keep one. Consuming shame, frost fang, or ring of survival. What is the ring of survival? After every third combat, there's... Yes. I need that right now. <clears throat> ring of enlightenment. What sort of man would trade the blessing of the gods for material wealth? Ten food! Three food! And the card's token is now mine. Yes! Oh, now I get the tinker. -er 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 -er. Approach the shop. So now I have to sell the damn thing and but get rid of the blessings because of it, because I don't want the damn ring. That's some bullshit. That's really bullshit. Because I got. The Ring of Enlightenment, if this, you sell it, you receive 50 gold for each blessing they possess, and all blessings are lost. That's kind of bullshit. It's not worth anything anyways, so I don't really care. Curse of weakening on enemies close to you. Strike a cursed enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. Right. So I don't have enough money to do anything. Unless I want to sell that ring and get rid of all of my blessings, which screw that.